So for today, we're going to be looking at the Abeyant Leap. This is the new exotic boots that the Titans got. We're going to be looking at what it does, how it looks, how it shaders, and an example set as well. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate y'all because uh, the channel has been blowing up and it's doing really well, like a lot, like a lot. I don't know, it's wild. So I would love to keep this uh, momentum, which is why I'm going to be posting a lot more content, unfortunately, because I'm tired. But that grind don't stop, man. <laughs> hey, I, hate, I hate that saying, but yeah, it, it really don't. So if you guys like, again, I really appreciate you guys. Other than that, let's get into it. So the puppeteer's control is what the armor perk is called. Dranger's Lash spawns two additional projectiles, tracks targets more aggressively, and travels further. Gain woven mail when suspended targets. So like, I I just wish the hunters had got something like this. Uh, just because I'm I'm a, I I don't want to talk shit about that helmet, but I just can't imagine. Like they get they. Titans get wounded mail when suspending targets. We get one from just fucking using our grenade. Like, make it make sense, bro. I would have loved it if the helmet was paired with like, oh, if you use your, your like air jump thing, your air drop, then you get well. I don't, I don't want to talk about the hunter one because this is a Titan video. But needless to say, pup, pup tears control is fucking great. I wouldn't say it's busted actually. Uh, I think it's powerful. I think it's really, really powerful. I guess you would say, I don't, I don't think it's busted at least not yet. Well, it's, we still have to see a little bit more, but the fact that you could get woven mail from that shit from not even just this, from just suspending targets is wild because not only can you suspend enemies with your uh, class ability, but you can also sp suspend them with your grenade. So like that's fucking wild, bro. As for how it actually looks, I really don't have to explain anything more. It's very self-explanatory. Uh, I think it looks cool. I definitely think it looks cool. Definitely excited to see the ornaments it'll get because uh, not saying it looks bad. It's just uh, I personally think it's going to be very rough for people to like make something look cool with this set. Um, as for how it actually shaders, thank fuck it shaders really well. As you guys can see from Ancient Wisdom, it's taking a lot of the colors that it should. You also see some different coloring in the pants, specifically like around the hip or not hip, the thigh. You guys will see that it not only has that brown color, but it also has that green color as well. So we'll have some different different colors in there as well. Uh, Echo Anger looks really cool with it. A lot of the colors look, look really cool with it. I'm not going to showcase all of them. At least I'm not going to speak upon them because I don't have much to add. The only thing I can really add is the cryptic insignia looks really cool with it. Uh, the other thing I should probably note is the fact that the actual boot at the bottom, all the way at the bottom has a glow. So if you're not aware of that, I mean, most people should be aware of that, but if you're not, uh, it does have a glow at the bottom. So just be aware of that. As for the example, set, I ended up going for something safe, which was my shadow plate look. Uh, if you guys don't know, I made this set a bunch of times, uh, and this is like one of my favorite sets to make. I did combine it with the Atavastic Idol Gauntlets just because uh, it's pointy. And if you guys don't know, Shadow Plate specifically, like the front of the plate is pointy as well. So that's why I went with it. And to be fair, the boots also are also pointy as well. So for the helmet, Desolation Diver helmet is an easy choice because a lot of this is pointy. Now that I think about it, I didn't even notice that. But yeah, a lot of this is pointy. The helmet has points. The arms have points. The chest piece has points. And even the boots have points, at least like at the ends of the, the the boots on the other side. And then the Finala's Iron Mark is one that I like to combine with this set as well. So this is just a set that I just like kind of like ramshackle together just because I was like, I want to make, I want to do the shadow plate look that I made, but I also want to use different arms because the arms I usually use, I'm not a big fan of. So that's why I ended up using the Atavastic Idol Gauntlets. So this one was a fast one. These are usually fast ones because I don't really have much to talk about. Like I usually don't do another example set for the new exotics that come out because I have other like exotic fashion videos that I make specifically. Like we'll be using the helmet for the hunter, the boots for the warlock, and then the boots for the Titan. And then we'll make like two, uh, an example set for those three. And then for the other th new ones, we'll make an example set for those three as well. So that's why I don't like to do two example sets. Although nothing's stopping me from just reusing the pieces, but I don't want to do that. So that's why I'm not making that. So let me know what you guys think. I know this was faster than all the other videos, but again, this one is, I really don't have to speak about this one too much because 
everyone and their mom probably chose this one first for their free exotic and forgot that the titans got any other exotic because the abe uh, the abeyant leap is just so fucking good i probably could have speak a little bit more upon the shaders and stuff but i again i think the shader speaks for for themselves and yeah let me know what you guys think i really do appreciate you guys coming up to this point be safe and i'll see you guys later